Well, it is a dreary Thursday, and Tegan and I are about to go into Walmart. We have a little grocery list of stuff we need to get. Ben has some chores she wanted to do at home, so we're having some data and son time. Father and son time. A little male bonding, right, Tegan? You look so excited. You are excited. Let's go. Okay, so here's some real vlogging excitement. We are going to buy cat litter. We'll see if we'll see if Ben leaves this in the vlog. All right. What cat litter should we get, Tegan? Yeah, this is real excitement. We won't tell Mama that we went down the Christmas aisle before Halloween. She'll never know. Check out all these cool ornaments. What? What? Yeah, you like the Christmas section, don't you? Yeah. We'll have some pretty lights up soon. What do you see? Baba. You see a lot of balls? You like that one? I don't think we could get that out even if we wanted to. It's a ball. Yeah, that's a ball. Ooh, roll back on tea machines. Two ninety four. That's actually a really good price. I can never remember which one of these we have. Do you find this laptop that kind of looks like Mama's? Yeah, we're back here with the clearance toys. And the best deal of the day, $1 squishies. Look how many they have. We're tempted, but I'm pretty sure you have a squishy already. So we are out of the store and it is surprisingly warm today for being the end of October. Hopefully it's this warm tomorrow because there's going to be a local trick-or-treating for the little ones tomorrow afternoon and Tegan's going to go in his Mike Wazowski costume. It's starting to be blue skies out, so I think it's going to be a nice day. It's still a little rainy, but it's starting to, the sky's starting to clear up. I think it's going to be a great, great day. I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be really rainy because last night it was just pouring rain. Awesome. For a little additional excitement, I know it didn't get more exciting than us buying kitty litter and trash bags, but Tegan and I are going to go explore the undercover flea market. This is a flea market that's all indoors. It's open seven days a week. And we haven't been here since Father's Day where it was so crowded that we really didn't get a good look around. So while Ben is at home doing her thing, Tegan and I are going to go flea marketing. You having fun looking around? Yeah. This goofy phone's pretty cool. We don't even have a landline though. Well, we're almost done looking around. Yeah? Can you smile? Smile for mama? Hi. So we're back out to the car. Uh, pretty much all we bought were some old Happy Meal toys because we needed some new ones for our flashbacks. But there's some good 80s and 90s ones in there that we haven't gone over yet, so that'll be fun. There was a lot to look at, but there was also a lot of music playing. Tegan was an awesome little guy, and he liked looking at all the stuff. Yeah. You gonna tell Mama everything you saw? Let's get back in the car. I don't know where we'll go next. I'm thinking maybe the dollar store, but let's see. So we are at the dollar store. We're gonna make a quick stop in here. But I can't believe this. This is the sun's out. The sky is clearing up. This is gonna be a beautiful day. It's like 64 degrees now. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll be a fun afternoon with Mama. We're gonna go pick some pumpkins this afternoon, but let's go see what we can find for a dollar. Oh, yeah. Okay. Check this out. These are Halloween village figures. I bet Ben would like some of these. But I don't know about these. So I'm gonna take a picture, yep. and she might want to come back later and check them out. At first glance, I thought they were Christmas, but no, they're Halloween. Look, there's a Grim Reaper guy. A while ago for my birthday, Lastic actually got me the set of the Simpsons figures from the dollar store. And the only one we were missing was Bart. And look who I found. Look who we found. I got the Bartman figure to go with my other Simpsons. That's awesome. So the set is now complete. And now Tegan and I are going to head home and see what Ben's been up to. Hey guys, we're back in the car and guess who's with us now? I'm here. So after our... Dada and son, father son bonding time. Oh, Tegan, yeah. yeah, Tegan had a blast, <laughs> and we, and it was so beautiful. It's actually it's still almost 70 degrees out today. Oh, and, yeah. oh yeah, and it was nice and sunny all afternoon. <laughs> and Tegan slept 
he just woke up about a half an hour ago and it was sunny and beautiful the whole time he was asleep and now it's all cloudy we had the and windows open it, it was beautiful <laughs> and now there's it's rainy ish so that's fun well we're gonna go pick out some pumpkins so while you guys were having data and sun time i was very productive I got the vlog edited and uploaded. I got Ben's bonus edited and uploaded. And I filmed the Halloween book to color. Wow, you were pretty productive. Yeah, I was quite productive. We are pulling in to pick out pumpkins. Yay. Look at all those pumpkins in there. Well, you can't really see, but there are tons of pumpkins in there. We're gonna go in for a closer look. Yeah, pumpkins. Look at all these pumpkins. Yeah, look at them. You're gonna pick them. You pick Mama and Dada a pumpkin. What pumpkin do you want us to carve? He milk on his cheek. <laughs> he has milk all over his cheek. Yeah, you pick whatever one you want. See these, buddy. You're gonna pick these. You pick one of these. Which pumpkin do you want us to get? That one. That one. Okay. Okay, there's a there's a little one. Alrighty. What's the other one you want us to get? You pick us the other one, buddy. That one? Which one did he pick? This one. Okay. Oh, he picked another one. Oh, okay. Which one? Okay. This one right here? Oh. <laughs> We're gonna be here all day. You want that one? Okay, good deal. Okay. We got them. Good. We're gonna get these two pumpkins. Mama. We'll bring them home and carve them. It is time to carve the pumpkins. I'm so excited. Here's mine. I gave the one with the stem to John. And I have my pattern. And we got this drill. Um, that takes four AA batteries and it's supposed to be safer than knives and I don't really like using the knives anyway. So I'm going to try this out. I may have to end up going to a knife. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to try this out and that's why I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. I'm going to start. So I should have given up but I've been working on this for about a half an hour and I finally got this open. Um, right here this screw was all stripped out so I couldn't get it. So you don't want to ruin this whole black top if this happens to you because the negative ends are in here for the batteries so you just so what I did I made a little slice right here in the black and was able to put enough tension on the screw with another screwdriver to loosen it up so <laughs> hopefully I didn't just waste a half an hour and this thing doesn't work at all. Then I'll be really mad and I'll probably just go to bed and carve this tomorrow. <laughs> so let's see if it'll work. So after a slight delay on my pumpkin because I thought I made a mistake. I'm starting my pumpkin. Mine's gonna be a lot more basic. I like the, the old school traditional jack-o'-lantern face. Yeah, and I like the patterns, so. They complement each other nicely. <laughs> yes. But first I gotta carve out all my pumpkin guts. But that scooper thingy works awesome. Oh, he was using the knife. But well, that, that scooper... That was, to, that was to break down the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. That scooper thingy works so awesome. Open wide. This, ew. <laughs> this drill does not work for a drill, but it gives you a good handle to use for the knife. But that scooper thingy is definitely worth the money. So we have another question you guys can answer down in the comments. Yeah. Like, what are some of your favorite Halloween movies? Ones that you have to watch every year. Mm -hmm. Mine are Hocus Pocus and The Worst Witch. 
And Hotel Transylvania is a pretty recent one. Yes, that's a new one, yep. But the Hocus Pocus and the War Switch are the ones that I, I grew up watching on Halloween. So let us know down in the comments and uh, stay tuned soon to see the end result of these pumpkins. So yeah. maybe in, it'll probably be in tomorrow's video, actually. Well, we're going to have to test them out. What do you think of our pumpkins? I went with a goofier looking pumpkin this year. He looks like he's scared, though. <laughs> he does look like he's scared. He's so cute. You did a good job. And I went with a pattern. With a ghost in a graveyard. And a tree. Whoa. Whoa. We both have different methods. See, John cuts the top off. I cut the bottom. <laughs> but we both highly recommend this scooper. Yes. So if you happen to see one of these on sale after Halloween. Definitely get it if you're going to carve pumpkins. It's a lot easier than reaching in with your bare hands mm -hmm. or using a kitchen spoon. And the drill, even though... It doesn't work good as a drill. The handle is really nice to use. Having this L handle to actually saw through definitely makes it easier. Well, I'm sure you'll see these two pumpkins again because tomorrow night we'll be putting them outside. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you tomorrow. 